Have you seen Titus Lenter's Swamp from Jumpstart? I mean, have you seen it? It starts with the Phyrexian scriptures on current frame, so you know it's gonna be special. There's the cryptic letters, while well, you know absolutely every word that's written on there. It's a swamp. Anyway, that's how the card is presented, and that's awesome by itself. But then there's the art. To say I was impacted by this piece is an understatement. I think that's been since I saw Le Radeau de la Méduse by Jericho that I had not been impacted that much by a piece of art. I was a child and looking at the canvas was just like watching a movie, a whole story unfolding before my eyes. But that story is quite different. You know, personally, I don't like horror movies. I want to be able to walk through wood by night on my own, so I try to keep myself free of such movies, but I digress. Still, horror as a media genre is everywhere. It's mainstream and there's nothing right or wrong about it. That's just a thing in our life as media consumers. So it's quite rare when a digital painting hits you with a sense of dread and imminent danger. It left an impression on me and that's why this piece of art in particular has been so memorable in my case. So how does it work? First of all, you see a landscape. That's expected for this kind of piece. A desolated land, moist and smoking with fumaroles, remains of building and remains of reed. Well, it's a swamp. But then you distinguish a shape that contrasts with the rising smoke. A small creature. Then you recognize it. It's Phyrexia nobilator, the monoblack staple from New Phyrexia. You know how deadly it is in the game, how dangerous these creatures are in the lore. And then you zoom out and you recognize the tower structure chimney cauldron thing from Myrodin Swamp. You feel smart again, then you feel dumb. The creatures standing in front of the tower must be huge. Then you zoom out and realize how simple of a composition that is. Big blocky triangle in the middle of the piece signaling danger. Then you zoom out some more and the metallic reeds in the foreground help you estimate the distance. We're not close yet, not so far. With this reference to previous magic arts, strong composition and a background foreground play we really brought in the action, like standing there, waist deep in the decaying mud, hidden in the artificial vegetation your eyes can't get off of the creature. It's just a matter of time until it detects you and then there's no running. It's this feeling, the finding your worst nightmare. You know you can't run away from it. You're still going to try, but the monster is faster. That's with the enormous scythe-like jaws that you're going to get the sudden release of waking up. Thank you, Titus, for making me feel things. We are blessed with a constant stream of amazing art in the game of Magic the Gathering. And this one really stood out to me. Thanks for watching.